what is the difference between hold and new ashoke yes yes i'll tell you when it comes to ashoke the best definition or the best word to use for it is vintage okay ashoke is forever a design of 20 years if you combine it well today is as good as gold so i'm not too sure that all we have is uh, there's a new design there's a mm -mm. what we have in ashoke mostly is we keep turning around the colors we keep bringing in new colors to the whole designs we keep changing the old designs together matching different things together ashoke is basically the same 20 years ago today 30 40 years ago is the same thing it's just the way we match things together now the way we bring in new colors into it uh, the designs are basically the same. They're majorly what it was so many years ago. So that's just it. But the most important thing is, if you get the color right, mm. you are able to combine yourself. You bring out a natural key of 20, 30 years. And you're wearing it with a new lace. There we are. It comes out very unique. The best way. The only good thing about our showcase, it does not go out of fashion. It doesn't. It's just for you to match it well. That is it. The last time I spoke to you, which is several years back, um, some Lisa... Um, Lisa Court, yes. Um, Lisa Court had always been, as I said, we're just putting in new things into them, shaping it differently, putting the machine in, an, in a zigzag way getting it done in you know it's basically the same before i was born there was something called embroidery mm -hmm. that you see they'll say what well, you'll see embroidery ashoke we might not have the sophisticated machines that we do have now but it had always been the laser cut had always been the hand cut had always been but with new patterns so what's your advice to those who intend to um do events and uh, or parties and they're looking for how to go about getting the right ashoke for those events um about intending customers or people trying to do parties you see people have gone haywire these days they come up with colors that you just keep on wondering searching what is this how do you define that your color combination defines you. It defines your party. It brings out whatever you have. Somebody coming up now, matching orange and fuchsia together. It sounds wild, but at the end of the day, it comes up. So the best way for people having in mind to have parties and be, uh, come up with a shape is to think right when it comes to colors. If you choose a design that doesn't come out well in a particular color, it's the same thing. But if you pick a design with very good colors, it will come out and your party will be right. So it's okay. For me, Ashoke is Ashoke. Before I was born, and even with generations unborn, Ashoke is Ashoke. We're just trying to lift it off. Make sure that you have something new for people to come in and pick. But majorly, Ashoke is Ashoke. Our patterns are the same. We're just trying to do some plus and minus to them and to bring it out. That's it. What makes um, Culture Sweet um, different or unique? Hmm. Well, Culture Sweet is very unique. A, I'm not boasting, and I'll say this again and again. We're one of the oldest, if not the oldest. This same thing that I'm doing is been four or five generations before me, and it continues. So with, there's something they called ability. I have, I have inherited this from mothers to mothers. So you don't expect somebody coming up from nowhere and telling me that she knows more than, no, I know my onions and I know how to cut it. We had different. Because we've got a world, world of experience. And I can prove that to anybody. By the time you went, to, you grew, up, grew into it, didn't you think it was, I mean, since you must have been young at that time, didn't you think it was a boring, uh -uh. conservative 
I've always loved colors. I love anything that is vibrant. So when I see this color today, I say, wow, tomorrow you have another color. And you say, oh, I thought the one I saw yesterday was better. This is actually better than what I saw. So the new colors, the, the mixing of patterns and the redesigning is jubilating. You will love to have them. For, to me, selling this is an hobby. I'm just fortunate enough to make to earn a living out of this. So it's something that I love doing. I love mixing colors together. You just sit down and start shading it. What about blue and black? What about this and that? What if you mix white and orange together? How do you get red and green together? The colors, it, it gives me joy to mix colors together and to match designs together. And at the end of the day, when I see people wearing it, and they come out beautiful. I say, oh, wow, this is nice. I've also noticed that, um, talking about the um, um, mask now, that people have also gone, um, I mean, they've gone everywhere with the way they put uh, the mask. And I've noticed one, uh, one particular style that men are wearing full the mask. I, I assume that looks a bit heavy for you to mm. wear full damask and all of that as a badder. you see with damask in those days the yorubas we call damask ajulo mm -hmm. you know what ajulo, ajulo means literally is um, i'm better than this in the days of our parents in the days of our grandparents they used damask to define class yes. to define status it's not just for every time and every time they can hurry. But lately, the Chinese have, uh, you know the Chinese, they will bring the worst out of anything. So lately now, we've gotten a lot of the marks from China. It's not the same thing. It's not the same and it can never be. In those days, the best class of the marks is from Okunawa, who happens to be an Ijebu prince or Ijebu elite. And up till tomorrow, you still have those designs around. You have companies doing them in Switzerland. You have companies doing them in Germany. And we've gone beyond that. You know, Koreans have started producing their masks and the Chinese have started producing their masks. Lately, you see some people wearing their masks and you just smile. Mm -mm. They're not the same thing. That is so common here and there now doesn't mean that it's the same old masks. But we won't say that. Mr. Taiwo won't buy the Damax he can afford. Fine, he can buy it. And you won't say that Mr. Lekon won't buy what he can afford. Damax is in different categories, just like Ashoki. Well, Damax is not Damax. They are different. And when you say, you see people wearing it and you think that it's heavy, no, it's not an everyday wear. It's not supposed to be an everyday wear. It's supposed to be clothed for celebrants. Clothes to define who you are that, yes, I can afford this. I have worked for it and I want to show my affluence. You understand what I'm saying? But that is heavy. We wear suits. Suits are not too light. So it's just that, you know, Africans, we don't seem to appreciate a lot of things that we have ourselves. Yes, the marks, some of them are heavy. We've gone beyond making them heavy. There are a lot of lighter ones lately that people can wear and they'll feel good on it and it's so body friendly it's so skin friendly but all the same it's not supposed to be an everyday wear mm. so if it's heavy accommodate it use it for that day feel good define yourself from your guests let them know that indeed you're the celebrant let them know that yes fine Moju, I want to cool off. that's what it is but in those days I, I, I used to think that um, our fathers and grandfathers would probably wear um, another dress like this and then put the max on it. On. Yes, it's a, it's a matter of choice. choice okay. Yes. In those days, like if we go downstairs now, you see a picture of my mom. She was wearing a lace and she tied the mask and have the same thing on her head. And she has something else on her head. In those days too, and in my house, I have a picture of my dad wearing full the mask with his brothers. So it's just a matter of what you can afford or how you feel like wearing it. It's a good design if you match it just to step it down. 
mm. wear a lace underneath and put on the damax on it or wear damax and danshiki and shokoto and put a lace on it too it's a matter of choice mm. and then if you have to also advise customers and all i mean how do you um how do you sell the damask is, is it on request or you also tell them no 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 damask is on request okay. it depends on your colors it depends on the, how you want it done just like we said earlier if you want a complete agbada than shiki and shokoto the yardage is different from having it just as agbada mm. but all the same it still defines you okay. yes do you just sell the fabrics or do you style people oh to... of course um I do sewing. Okay. I sell and I do sewing. When it comes to Ashoke, and the only thing that I've decided to take off me is sewing for the brides. Okay. Yes, I sew for men and I'm comfortable with that. But you see, with brides, they have so many designs in mind. They can turn it up and down. So I leave them to their stylists. But I do sewing. Okay. At the time you gave your business the name Culture Speaks, what informed that choice? because our culture speaks okay. because indeed our culture speaks you see walking around Oxford circles in full ashoke people will know that yes this is definitely an african man do you understand do, yeah. in those days when you wear ashoke and um, when you wear full ashoke you don't need to introduce yourself that you're a yoruba man they know where you're coming from they know who you are so indeed, culture speaks. It tells a lot about who you are. And lately, when you see people dressed gallantly, beautifully, you know that, yes, indeed, is either he's a celebrant or he has something coming up or he's happy over something. Our culture speaks in so many ways. Mm. I yeah. never thought about it in any other way. I just know that African culture speaks for itself. Okay. And that's how the name came out. Okay. Uh, if you put down uh, different types of um, Ashoke. Um, how, how do you define which one is for which event or which, I mean, in terms of, like See, when you, the, the one you did recently, when every, you put everything on the ground? With my experience, with the cultural knowledge that I have, yes. um, someone will say the capital knowledge. Capital knowledge is something you don't go to school to learn you learn on along the lines uh, for some particular occasions some tribes in your some tribes in africa in nigeria do love some colors more than others mm. so with that i tend to advise my customers if you're coming in for barrier we have colors that are known for barriers but that doesn't mean that you have to take them it's your choice we have colors that are known for weddings we have colors that are known for people mourning. We have colors that are known for christening, you know, naming ceremonies mm -hmm. and so on. So it depends on who is buying okay. and what you have in mind. I can only advise mm -hmm. on this as I have an authority. I can always I can always advise you that take this, take that, but I can't force you. Okay. You've been doing this for how long now? Since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> then um talking about your mom how you you know inherited from your mom did you have to maybe change the name or change or just took you see with my mom she never gave it a name okay but she was so known she was so 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 popular in lagos during her days and her generation there's hardly anybody that have had to warn her showcase that doesn't know my mom at least two out of three people we mentioned my name my mom's name but for her, she never needed a name. Oh, she called them. She I never mean, needed a name. No, she I mean, just Yabe Jala Shoke. Do you understand what I'm saying? And she was so popular. All the higher mighty Nigeria then must come to her to buy. And at that time, so I'll look at them. You know, life was better. I was born and bred along um, the Dialaja in Lagos Island. My mom was living there and we had the shop there. And you see all these um, celebrities then coming in the night. You know, we just come downstairs, open the shop for them. They will buy, pick their colors, ask the drivers to come some other time to pick them up. It was fun. You know, and my mom, she was an illiterate, but I can imagine if she had gone to school. 
she could mix colors together and you wonder where did she get this from mm. you know and she was able to match designs together too and you still wonder where is this woman getting all these inspirations from you know she did so well that i'm happy that i've taken after her so how do you combine doing this and also attending um, the parties of your customers who would love you to be there um, How did you the... it's still the same thing parting to me is business i go there to learn i go there to see the new trend the new colors and i represent my business i represent my company so to me going to parties is part of my business in every party if there is no ashebi you see people coming in one million colors this man we wear this this lady we wear that even with Ashoy Bees, you see them combining it in such a wild way that you wonder. From jewelry to shoes, Nigerians are crazy about fashion. Mm. So at every party I learn, I pick something away from there. Mm. So to me, parting and my business, they work together.